In today's video, we will be looking at the interface changes made to Visual Lighting 2020. Here in the design environment, you can see we have updated the icons and revamped the overall look of the program. The new sidebars are collapsible. This will give you more space to work on in your project. By clicking on these buttons, it will expand the panel back out. Additionally, the ribbon bar is now collapsible as well. Clicking on any of the tabs will bring that back. With the interface changes, we have moved where some of the common commands are located. Let's look at where they were in Visual Lighting 2017 and where they are now. In Visual Lighting 2017, your quick access commands such as undo and redo, calculate, and properties was located here. In Visual Lighting 2020, these icons are now located at the top of the ribbon bar. In Visual Lighting 2017, the views were managed here. In Visual Lighting 2020, we have embedded the Views Manager on the left sidebar. We will go into more detail with this later in the video. In Visual Lighting 2017, the Design Manager was accessible on the Home tab via this button. In Visual Lighting 2020, it has also been embedded into the left sidebar. In Visual Lighting 2017, in order to access the audit, you would either need to run a calculation or go to File and then Audit. This is still available in Visual 2020, but we have added the audit to the left sidebar. You can rerun the audit by clicking this icon. In Visual Lighting 2017, the selection filters were only available when you had a command open. In Visual Lighting 2020, we have permanently moved the filters to the taskbar. In Visual Lighting 2017, the measurement tool was located here. In Visual Lighting 2020, the measurement tool is now located at the bottom. In Visual Lighting 2017, you would need to go to the Tools tab to access all of the measurement commands such as Angle, Distance, and Radius. In Visual Lighting 2020, these have now been moved to the Construct tab. Now let's look a little closer at the Views Manager and what each button does. If you're looking to add a view, you will click the New View icon. This will allow you to save your current view and will also allow you to name it so you can quickly refer back to it. If you're looking to update a view, you will use the Update Selected View button. If you wish to save your view as an external file, you will use the Save View to File button. And finally, if you wish to delete a view, you will use the Delete Selected View function. With the new Views Manager, you will be able to quickly navigate around your saved views. Let's review the updated buttons for selection filters. From left to right, the buttons are Luminaires, Calculation Zones, Solids, and Background Objects. By default, all buttons are enabled. Clicking on the button will remove those objects from the selection process. As you can see, only the luminaires were selected. The design manager has also had an update. Instead of having to open it up, it is now embedded into the left sidebar. Each category can be opened and expanded, so you can drill down to individual elements. If you use the find command, 
it will zoom in on that element. Additionally, we have added a filter to the design manager so you can quickly find objects that you have set to invisible. Finally, the print editor has also had an updated look for Visual Lighting 2020. Let's look at where a few commands have been moved from Visual Lighting 2017 to Visual Lighting 2020. In Visual Lighting 2017, you access the pages and properties at the bottom right of the sidebar. In Visual Lighting 2020, the pages and properties have been moved to the top of the sidebar. In Visual Lighting 2017, the drawing command was located here. In Visual Lighting 2020, the drawing command is now located here. This is the end of today's video. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact us at support at visual-3d.com. Thank you.